If you're not subscribed to my channel, press that little red button and subscribe because there's lots of exciting things to come. somebody money and they'll probably be living on next to nothing. I hate exploitation of any sort but especially watching children it's um, just leaves you a little bit heartbroken that's all. Well I'm part way down I've got about five kilometers to go until I'm completely down at the bottom of the hill and then after that a 2k walk back to my apartment. Um, it's been a very emotional day actually. I've had a few tears um, coming down the hill. Um, I can't stop thinking about those poor children. Um, for me, I thought about what I would have done 11 years ago if those children were there. And I thought, yeah, I probably would have done what I saw a lot of other tourists doing today. They were paying them money to get photographs with them. Um, what people don't realize, and I realize these children look cute, um, and they look different to the street kids you see. You see, 11 years ago I cried my little heart out over the street kids, but these kids, they dress so beautifully, some of them even had makeup on, you see, and that's the genius of it. You don't think that they're being exploited because they look clean and well presented. But I've seen this happen in Vietnam before. I was, um, went to the, no, not Vietnam, sorry, Cambodia. I went to the floating village over there and people were buying bags of rice for these children in this little um, school and you know standing up they're all proud because they've bought some rice and whatever what they don't realize is this rice doesn't go to the children it was sent back to um, the shop and you know the people who are organizing this they, they take half and the shop gets half the money so you know, and the same thing with this, these children are not benefiting from it. And you take a photo and yeah, it's cute. And you know, it goes on your mantelpiece for a couple of months. You go back to your privileged lives. But do you stop and think what's actually happening to these children? You know, are they being um, sexually abused? Are they being beaten because they've had a tantrum? Or have, has their spirit completely been broken that they live in silence and they don't say anything anymore? You know, these are the things we don't take into account. And as human beings, we've got to be part of the solution, not the problem. And the only way to be part of the solution when we see things like this, you know, is ask yourself, is this right? What's going on? You know, these children are asking me for money. They've got their little purses there. You couldn't see any adults around. I mean, these were children under six years of age. These were babies. And, you know, they're there with little purses and, you know, adults are sitting with them having photos. They'd be frightened, you know, these complete strangers. And, you know, we've got, you know, if you want to fix this, close your purses. Don't be part of the problem. As long as you're paying for this, you're part of the problem. And this goes for, you know, children especially. It's heartbroken, but it's not just children. This happens throughout the world. You know, um, animals. 
as long as you're opening your purses, you know, walking into a zoo, um, riding on an elephant, which is very popular here in Thailand, you know, um, patting a lion. Yeah, it's it, it, at the time you think, great, I'm with an elephant, I'm with a tiger, I'm with a monkey, whatever, a monkey chain, whatever, you think that, but you're, you're part of the problem. When you shut your purses, they can no longer go on. And what you don't realise also, with these poor children, what happens when they're not cute anymore? What then are they made to do? Prostitution? You know, um, think about it. Anyhow, I'm going to continue my walk. I really had to say this piece. Um, this has just been such a huge day for me. Massive day, in fact.